Hello and welcome back, my wonderful people, to the Curtis Price channel. Now, I was feeling slightly peckish today, so I thought we'd revisit for the second time the channel of Nikocado Avocado, a man of great taste and passion who also has a husband. Say hi. Is that okay? Or like, start over. However, not the most loyal man in the world. He's, uh, I don't really know how to say this, but uh, he's been having an affair with a moist McDonald's McMuffin. That's not mayonnaise on your sausage. Sorry, that was a bit childish, wasn't it? What can I say? I am loving it. <laughs> the jokes now, by the way, not the uh, the fertilised McMuffin. But my friends, Nikocado Avocado, a YouTuber who spends most of his time eating at a table, having breakdowns, publicly arguing with his husband, and apparently shitting himself. And I suppose I would as well, if I never left the table. Goodbye. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, I just pooped. <laughs> I just pooped. Ladies and gentlemen, this is phenomenal. A wonderful piece of performing arts. How iconic. Shitting yourself during a YouTube video. You gotta ask yourself, what else does he shit himself during? Ugh. In other words, doing sex. However, Nick isn't everything you think he is. He uses his platform in a way to manipulate the audience's sympathy, he uses the drama with his husband to encourage clicks from audience members, proceeds to eat more and more, meanwhile also breaking down and complaining. This is a tactic used by Nick in order to capture the viewer's attention and create a reality his viewers can keep going back to. This is a man who fully understands where his actions lead him. Success and attention, revenue and subscribers, and he has successfully accumulated those things. So I can only say this once. Strap yourselves in, sit back and relax, get comfortable for the love of Christ, our Lord above. Let's indeed enter the utter shit state that is indeed Nikocado Avocado. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I really need followers. <laughs> but listen up everyone, we are on 70,000 subscribers and with your guys' help, we might actually be able to get to 80,000 by the end of this month. I need to prove to my mum that YouTube is a viable thing for me, so please subscribe. <laughs> now let's get down and dirty and knee deep in this grease. <laughs> Not for the first time, eh? But I want you to know that I've already made a video on Nikocado Avocado, so if you want to check that out, be my guest. It's a fantastic video. <sighs> if you're into fast food porn, that's the video for you. But I'm still gonna give you a quick summary of that video anyway, so let's prepare yourself, strap in, listen up. So if we take a look at Nick's channel, we can see that he posts videos of him breaking down, having arguments with his husband and all that bullshit. But he only does these things for two reasons. For money and to buy more food. But he knows what he's doing. I mean, take a look at this clip of him complaining about his weight. I've worked so hard at trying to lose weight and look at me. <laughs> and these man boobs are so big. <laughs> I think I've never had man boobs before. <laughs> uh, just, I'm disgusting. I ruined my body. I'm disgusting. I'm so ugly. Look at me. I fucking have this double chin. I've worked so hard. Right. What in the fuck? Oh, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. <laughs> what? I'm eating a fucking Twinkie, fuck off! Sorry, the smell of Twinkie grease is just like cocaine for me. I'm kidding, it's not like cocaine. It's like meth. <laughs> but just be patient with me, okay? This is what Nick does, okay? He'll continue to eat and eat and eat and eat, meanwhile complaining about his weight. But yet he posts videos all the time, like complaining. And, uh, also eating fast food. I don't know how that works. But he knows that he's captured a lot of people's emotions to this and sympathy. And that's exactly why people keep going back. Because as we all know, as humans, we love to see people's downfalls. And if you are like that, you, you're a piece of shit. You should only be supporting people and pushing them forward. But I guess that's each to your own because you don't really want to push someone or motivate someone to finish a giant 21 pound lobster. Now he also has breakdowns in his videos as well when he gets angry over the littlest things. Like maybe the restaurant forgot his straw so he pulls a massive fitty. There's no excuse. No excuse. Or perhaps there's a lady feeding a stray cat and then he starts to have palpitations about that. No! DON'T FEED THE CATS! <laughs> She's feeding the cats! You can see her fit in the cats! No! What can I say? I wish Nick a card over card could slap the shit out of me like that. Destroy me, Nick. And don't get me wrong, it's quite entertaining to watch these breakdowns. I mean, you know, I've sat down a couple of times in bed watching them. Not that way. I mean, there is that bar that you cross when you decide to moisturize egg yolk into your face while shaving your hair. That's just a bit too far over the line. I mean, I haven't slept a wink since that night and I cannot get an erection.
It reminds me of a scene from Titanic when Jack is just slowly fading into the water. Goodbye, Jack. Jack, no. But the fights with his husband also, that's another issue that I covered in the last video. He likes to uh, fight with his husband on camera and have arguments about things. That's right, everyone. 2020, you put all your arguments in your relationship online for everyone to see. And these things are supposed to be private, you know, that's the whole point, it's a relationship. Privacy. No, you want to broadcast your arguments to the world, which I believe, personally, just my personal opinion, aren't real. I think they're just there for the entertainment and for people to keep coming back because everyone Everyone loves controversy. I don't. I fucking hate it. That's why I make these videos. Stop! Stop! I'm sending this to the police. 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 I'm but in these breakdown videos, it's a bit strange because in the link in the description, there's always a video being like, Oh, Nick done this to me in this video. Nick spanked me on my ass, but like that wasn't meant to come out that way. I don't know why it did. And that was mostly everything I covered in my last video, okay? I mean, if you're gonna go and watch that video, be my guest. I also did a mukbang myself in there to join in with Nick Acado. Avocado's regime. Regime. <sighs> Sorry. Sometimes I just do get horny over food. But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on from the past video. Looking more closely into Nick's channel, I found something rather interesting. Nick's main channel, okay? This is where the real hardcore content is posted, okay? <laughs> when I'm sitting like this, I look like I work at a car dealership. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yes, your car will be ready in five minutes. I fucked your mother in the back of it. <laughs> Giant cheese stuffed Cheetos. Volcano spicy battle fire noodle race. Oh, crap. This seems like serious business. I mean, there's a wonder why I'm not making so much money every month. I should just fucking eat food every single video. Would everyone like that? Think fucking so. And then Nicocado Avocado 2, the second channel we should call it. Cheesy Cheetos cheese sauce with hot Cheetos. Double cheeseburger and nuggets with cheesy sauce. It just seems like the, the main channel, doesn't it? Um... Creative. And then we've got the third channel, which is my favorite channel. The channel where all the breakdowns are posted, all the arguments. It's essentially a commentary channel's wet dream. If it were to happen, uh, it did. I did come <laughs> over <clears throat> the third channel because the drama and controversy. Moving on. <laughs> but Nicocado Avocado 3. Let's, uh, let's get some of these titles a read. I've been served divorce papers. Breaking up with Orlin. Telling Orlin I have diabetes. <laughs> with the shit you read, I'm not surprised. And my personal favorite ironic title, Jesus is coming. Nick, you're gonna need more than the blessings of Lord Jesus Christ to help you. I got a suggestion. Hmm. How about a dietitian? There he is, right there. In all his glory. That's right, my friends. That is. Lord Father Christ. It's not, uh, it's not Jesus. It's, uh, it's a picture of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, we leave it there though. And the fourth channel is called Nicocado Avocado 4. It's not. It's not called that. Uh, you, you think it would be called that because, you know, 1, 2, and 3. It's not. It's called More Nicocado Avocado. Because that's what the world is lacking. More fucking Nicocado Avocado. More isn't the problem here, Nick. Sometimes you just... You just have to accept. It's not me, it's you. But okay, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, okay? Let's just, uh, let's uh, see how he uses his success to reach his audience. Right then. We are breaking up. Why we can't break up. We're saving our marriage. Why we can't save our marriage. What the fuck, Nick? That's bullshit! If that isn't the most bipolar thing I've ever seen. This man acts like a girlfriend on her period. She either is absolutely extremely fucking pissed off at you, or she loves you so much that she wants to live with the rest of the sperm inside your ball sack. So I guess it's only reasonable, you know, if I just analyse the situation and hopefully we can come to a conclusion. Uh, maybe analyse some of the arguments going on and maybe uh, have a little conversation about other mukbang YouTubers as well. Please stay tuned everyone, I need the watch time and I love you. That's right, I love you. But we're just gonna go and check this out now. You might see me in a different location, you might not. Let's ask for a surprise, eh? Hi. How's it going everyone? That's right, I'm back. Um, in a new location as you can see, uh, my face is extremely burnt. I forgot to put sunscreen on it. So apologies if I look like a lobster. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Um, otherwise Nick Acado Avocado might want to eat me. <laughs> oh Christ. However, I can assure you I do weigh more than 21 pounds. 
soaking wet. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm sorry about the audio quality in this video. It hasn't been very good, does it? I know. Now, I'm currently away in a very hot country, okay? And uh, it's very difficult to film. I also, um, I'm trying to get around my content more and enjoy it more. And this is what we're doing today. We're going to be watching Nikocado Avocado's uh, fight with his husband. Um, Yep, that's right. Uh, my life is fucked. But I've got my laptop right here, and in case you didn't know, Nikocado Avocado does in fact have a husband called All In Holmes. All In Holmes, that's right everyone. All In Holmes. I don't know why I'm fucking saying it over and over, okay. And he posts on YouTube uh, as well. Uh, very similar content to Nikocado Avocado. Having fits all the time by the looks of it, and beating the shit out of each other. Yes. Exactly what happens in a marriage, am I right? We are gonna have a look at some of these arguments, and we can analyze it and see what we think. Right, let's do that. Here, eat this. Eat it. Here, what eat are it. you doing? Eat that. Ah, ah, ah. Eat it. Stop! Eat it. It's red velvet. You love red velvet. Stop it! Oh, stop it! Yes, you love red velvet. So shove the cake in my mouth. That's what I said to my girlfriend last night. <laughs> but this video is called All In's Leaving. Um, leaving the cacao avocado away soon. Uh, leaving the fridge open. <laughs> <laughs> you look really nice. Wait, wait. Stop! I'm trying to eat my food. I'm helping you eat. Here, eat Stop. it. Stop! Eat it. Stop! Eat it. Stop it! Eat it. You're ridiculous. Are you gonna clean it up? Mm. Mm. Yeah, we were right about the sexual fetish. What, what the fuck was that? Mm. Lovely. Um, that was frankly amazing, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I can't get over this. But for some reason, you know, this whole bitch slapping going on and everything. Now, besides all that, the stuff in each, food in each other's mouths again. It reminds me of that scene from Matilda. You know, the Bruce Bogtrotter scene. Yes, we know that one, don't we? Bruce Bogtrotter. It's when Trunchbull gives Bruce Bogtrotter a, a big piece of cake and makes him eat it until he finishes it. That's uh, what I'm seeing here. Yes. Marvellous. But let's hear some over his arguments involving some uh, abuse, maybe we should say. Uh, is it one-sided? Mm, we'll never know, you know. As my nan would say, there's always two sides to a piece of bread. <laughs> two sides to a story, as they say. Two sides to a book. Recipe book. That's right. But either way, let's just carry on with the video. My skin looks great compared to yours. Do you ever see the sun? No! Ouch! Hit me. <laughs> Gotta say, I do love cat fights. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't give over me. You're a therapist. I have to be honest, I, I don't think it is real. I think this has all been set up as their little big, big joke on the internet. I think the reason they do this is because they know it gets views. Why else would they post their arguments publicly on YouTube? It's the same with all this channel. He posts arguments on there as well. And there'll always be that link in the description taking them to another video of them arguing just to increase the chance of more viewership. So on the topic of abuse, um, I think it's fake, first of all, but that's my opinion. It doesn't have to be your opinion. It's my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. But using abuse as an entertainment uh, scenario. Not something I quite agree with, unfortunately. Um, it's something that I think is, is wrong. Oh, what a thought, eh? <laughs> I think we should move on from these guys. Give me a bit quite the fucking air dig, I can't lie. So that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace. Yeah, I said, tell me what you mad for, uh, you mad bro, uh.